Howdy, and welcome to my first in a series of videos about things that gun rights advocates need to stop doing. To me, number one on that list is stop talking about the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is part of a government document. The government can amend that. It can change the Second Amendment at will. But if you notice, it doesn't even have to change it. It can ignore it. It can interpret it. And there's nothing you can do about that. You have no control at all over the Supreme Court. You, they're appointed by politicians that you have very little voice in getting into office and then no control after they get into office. So the Second Amendment doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the government. And when you're talking to a gun control advocate and you start using the Second Amendment, you've just said, hey, you know what? This thing that the government said, well, you know, that, that gives me some rights. And yet you've put the ball in the government's court. Don't play that anymore. Here, you can't have a conversation with them. It has to be a lecture. And you don't take any questions. How it works is this. I have the right to keep and bear arms, and you have the right to keep your hands to yourself. I'm not having a discussion with you. I'm not having a negotiation with you. I'm not saying we're going to talk about this in court. I'm telling you how it's going to be, and all you have to do for your part is to keep your fucking hands to yourself. How hard is that? It's not. We live by that rule all the time, except with the government. With the government, we're walking around saying, well, you know, we'll go to court and we'll talk about it and we'll figure out what it means to have a well-regulated militia. And no, fuck that, because they don't care. They're just looking for a way to exploit the language so they can get more power. And for the regular gun control advocate who's just a civilian like you or me, who's not in the government, it's a discussion about how they can feel safe. And they're going to do anything they can, any interpretation they can make. It's a foregone conclusion for them, right? So you're going to waste all your time trying to convince them and everything. And, and in the end, they're still going to believe as they believe. And they're going to have the impression that you care about the Constitution. And you're probably, but I do care about the Constitution. Here's No, you don't. Because here's, 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 here's the question that you need to ask yourself. If they amended the Constitution and they changed it so that the federal government had the power to confiscate firearms and to keep you from owning them, would you turn in your firearms? You probably answer no to that, right? Well, if you answer no, then you don't actually care about the Constitution so quit fucking talking about it.